Let me show you today how to use Sportcam to broadcast live ranked in events. Um, this is when you want to have automatic scoreboards on your video and the results will be sent from the referee mobile who is uh, refereeing at the moment. You can do the same for the badminton, for the tennis, for the paddle. All the sports is already defined in ranking.com. The list of sports you can find here. If you will go and click on the live scoring button, all the sports are listed here and the rules we uh, support. And today, everything is about the sport cam, but this is the great moment to describe as well uh, scoreboards and in general a live scoring because uh, we need this feature to send the results live to tournament and to sport come up. So I will say a little bit more about live scoring and scoreboard as well. What we will need? <clears throat> we need a laptop uh, which run event, we need a second mobile. This is the mobile where sport come up is installed. We have a referee, the Sebastian. He's, he's having his own mobile uh, to referee matches. And we have a scoreboard, which is, which is there. <clears throat> right now, I will start from the tournament. To set up tournament, you need to go to ranking. I have already mine uh, defined. If you want to get to know more how to set up tournaments at ranking, click link on the top left corner. It will take you to my another tutorial. My tournament uh, name is TriSportCom, and we will use it we will pretend we have a small tournament for the four guys. It is not obligatory, mandatory, sorry, because you can run event even from your mobile. So if you define it uh, before the event, you can use any device to, to control it. There is not too much work. <clears throat> what is uh, as well very important is the mobile which will do the streaming. We will get back to, the, to it later. It is where the Sportcam app is installed. Uh, very important part is live scoring. Sebastian will use his own mobile uh, and uh, he will use Rankin app to, to do that. We will, get back, we will get back to it later. Let's now uh, try to focus on the scoreboard. It is not essential. It is optional, of course, in, in Rankin. But the beauty is we have live result. Why not to use it? I, I just use my old uh, tablet to do that. It can be done on any device. You can use your old mobile, you can use a smart TV, open browser, you can use monitor connected to computer. You can open it on any device because this is browser or uh, Android iOS app. <clears throat> Just open it on calendar or uh, under your menu, find your event, go to the section scoreboard, open it. You see the courts are loading. <clears throat> the, those courts are defined on ranked in when you are, were creating the tournament. Right now I will use court one. If you want to enlarge it, click on this button. It will, it will be open for the full screen. If there is no match at this moment, it will show you the previous result and it will show upcoming next match on this court. When Sebastian will start to referee, you will, switch it, uh, you will see it will switch to live uh, scoring. It will be only two players and uh, with very big letters and, and, and scored. We will show it later. <clears throat> this, is, this is as well a very great feature in Rank Team. Uh, what we need next, this is the uh, computer. I have my tournament here. Uh, there is a draw section with the draws. Of course, the same scoreboards like we had on a um, scoreboard uh, and live video and reply section. You will see that when we will start to streaming live, it will have uh, automatically embedded live video. <clears throat> the, the core of the uh, idea to have live matches with automatic scoring is the irreferee feature. What does it mean? Any player, any participant who attend the tournament have access to the list of the matches and can start e referee, refereeing live score and the matches from this tournament. And we will do it right now to show you how to find the event, how to find the match and start uh, live scoring. Sebastian will open the app, uh, ranking up. You need to go to the menu section, press e referee button. It will load the list of the matches. We have right now only one. And click referee button to start referee. 
it is loading a referee panel. We will get to back uh, it later. Right now we are not starting referee. Let's wait. Let's talk about sport arm, which is the main point of this video. Okay, here it is. Uh, to best quality, I am using tripod, yes, and uh, the mobile phone, which is uh, which will be streaming. <coughs> Let me open the the app. Uh, Okay, mm, the app is, it is Sportcom, it is loading, <clears throat> okay, uh, Sportcom has two options, the, 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 bot, the top one is when you want to create stream and score points from, uh, from the same mobile, but it is not the, the topic of this tutorial, so I refer you to my another tutorial video, the link is on the top uh, left uh, corner, uh, top right corner. <clears throat> uh, what we are talking about today is to stream ranked in events. Events. It is uh, bottom part of the sport cam. I will click it now. I will find my event. So I call it try sport cam. Okay. Uh, let's select it. What we have here? There is a list of the matches or a list of the courts. Where is the difference? In matches, I can stream only one match. When it will be finished, it will not switch to another one, which is uh, scheduled for this uh, court. If I will select courts, it means that any match which is scheduled at rank 10 for this court, the system will automatically switch between the matches because the system knows who is playing next. So you can use it if you want to make the whole day streaming or a few hours streaming for the whole tournament and you don't want to take care about switching from match to match uh, system will do it um, uh, for you right now i will select a uh, match uh, my match is done versus rafael so let's go we have two options we can stream to facebook or we can stream to youtube what is important if you want to stream to youtube you need to activate it 24 hours before you start. It is required by YouTube. It is the internal rule. You need to go to desktop computer, log into your YouTube, go to settings. Just check tutorial on the left corner. Uh, it is on another video. If you want to stream to Facebook, which I will do today, please, uh, I am already logged in, but when you will try to use it for the first time, you will need to log in. Um, and please uh, use public settings because it is very difficult to change it uh, in future. The app will store it. Uh, if you would like to change privacy settings, you need to go to your Facebook as well, uh, dig on the settings and change it. You can refer to tutorial video on the left top corner. <clears throat> I will uh, put some description, try sport come. It is description of the video at um, Facebook. You can stream to your profile wall, you can stream to your fa uh, fan page or group. Um, if you click on the fan page, you will see your list of uh, pages. I will stream to my new test stream page. Continue. Now it will take me to the main streaming uh, page. You see it is loading. Loading the widget. <coughs> Okay, what is the most important here? Score. And those scores and players will come from the Sebastian app when he will start to score. We will get to back to it. Right now I, I only want to show you how it works. Okay, so let me put it on the tripod because this is the best method to, to stream, I think. It, it is stable and good quality. <clears throat> you can check how it looks. And to start streaming, you need to press this red button. I will do it now, and you will see what will happen, okay? It is creating live video. It is going to my Facebook, so everybody can watch it right now. But what is most important, it will be live as well in Ranked in Event page. Let's go and see how it looks on tournament page. We, we you see? indicator has changed uh, the state. It's live video now. Let's open this tab. The match is already here. So uh, it is live. It has happened uh, totally automatic. I didn't have to do anything. 
it is just there for everybody to watch. And this is the beauty. Everybody know where to expect live streaming, where to find it, and you don't need to do anything with that. Uh, what is the next great feature of uh, Runtin and live streaming? All those kind of matches is on the draws as well. So you can click this red button on the match, uh, on this match, over this match in draw, and it will show you exactly this match. You can, you can watch it. Um, everything, when you will finish your, when you will finish your streaming, it will stay here. As long as you don't remove it from Facebook or you don't remove it from Video Manager because you have full control what you want to show on your um, event page, what you want to improve or, or delete. Let's find out how it works uh, when we will start, to, start to, to score the points. Sebastian is our referee. Let's try to score any points from the referee panel. It is loading the points, yes, okay. Let's pretend that the guys are playing the match right now. Okay, so we have uh, the, the score is 2-1. You see it is 2-2. Two, two. It is right away updated on our scoreboard. Uh, it is in real time. Anybody can follow it. Can be TV screen on your club or something over the court, uh, so so spectators can can watch it live. And this is the this is really really great. This is what I wanted to show you. It is of course optional. You don't need to have scoreboard for your tournament, but it is a great feature. And the same has happened on our video. Sportcam know the results. It is sent to Sportcam in live, uh, uh, and you don't need to do nothing. It, it, it is just there as well on your live video. If you will start to uh, open it, it will have the same score 2-2, two, two, so everybody is updated live. And this is the beauty of, the, of, the, of our software. I hope it has helped you to set it up. It is very, very easy. If you want to get to know something more about this, our system, Please check our other tutorial video. Have a have a have a good tournament. Bye.